All right, people. This your man, Rajay111. Coming back real quick before I get my behind in bed. All right. I'm going to show you all the difference between the, um, this is the EC. I mean, not EC. I'm sorry. This is the uh, 301 and this is the 301 EC. All right. Uh, so I just took them apart. I saved y'all the trouble of um, watching you take them apart. But as far as the heads, there's no real difference in the heads. Okay. Nothing there. Really jumping. Uh, same thing with the head button. Head buttons are really kind of the same. Ain't nothing really popping there. Um, back plates. Black plates look pretty much the same too. Nothing really crazy. All right. Um, now. As far as the cranks, the cranks is where the difference comes in. And shout out to my man, David RC, because um, he hit me up, messaged me about this, said um he thinks the uh, crank is balanced, and he's right. So let me zoom down. All right, wait. So this is the regular 301 crank, just a regular boy right here. All right. You see it? It's still DLC coded. It's a nice crank. Nothing wrong with that thing. Good to go, baby. Okay. All right, so now this is the crank in the EC 301 EC. Now I couldn't get I couldn't get this crank and piston out um, because it's a new engine and nothing's really broken together or wore in together. All right, so but you can see a slug down there. You can definitely see a slug down there for balance. Right? See that thing? Cool. Also, what I noticed. It seemed to be either a part number or that might be a serial number. Let me see if I can get y'all in there back up a little bit. All right, you see that serial number or part number? That could be either one, but that's a different number on there. It's like um, 1835 on that piston rod. Again, that could be some serialization or part number. Now, this is the um, part number on the 301 regular, 301 EC. You see that's a different number right there. It's like 1737 that's the difference I see there but that might be serialization maybe part number who knows all right so now let's take a look at the sleeves no real difference in the sleeves all right so where we at here let's go to the intake side intake side okay this one EC this one regular 301 okay boom intake side and we roll it okay Boost ports to the naked eye, they look similar to the naked eye. You know what I mean? Keep rolling. Exhaust side to the naked eye, they look similar, right? And other boost ports, right? Cool. And we back over to the uh, in intake side. All right. Nothing really crazy. Now, the EC does have a different number up here. See that 191667? Uh, then this number here on the regular uh, 301. See, that's 115 something. 152132. Again, that could be serialization or it could be um, part number. Not really too sure yet on that. All right, so let's check the uh, pinch on a 301 regular and this has been ran off of nothing but the bones baby look at that pinch still crazy make sure y'all get y'all in there all right that's all we up look at that let me see if i can lighten that thing up that way y'all can really see in there yeah see that sweet <clears throat> okay now Look at that piston, just golden brown, baby, like golden brown biscuits. Just golden brown biscuits. Look at that thing. Burning quite nicely, I might add. Yes, sir, burning quite nicely. All right, people, that's all I really wanted to show y'all real quick. Um, just the differences. Shout out to my man, David RC. Um, oh, this is the regular 301. It's 301 EC, so yeah, that crank is balanced. So, they must have did something with that. Oh, also, let me show y'all um, carburetors. Let's look at um, carburetors. This is the carburetor to the EC. They both have long needles. So, this is the EC. Whoops. This is the EC carburetor. 
long needle you can see all right and it's the carburetor on a regular 301 you can see long needle so whatever they did I'm not sure but you can definitely tell the crank is definitely weighted on the EC also don't forget your Nova Rossi um, Venturi's will fit the effects carburetors see that this is a Nova Rossi 6 and they do fit no problems see that so if you got some old Nova Rossi's laying around they will fit okay all righty people okay uh, what else I want to tell y'all oh oh uh, okay I gotta give another shout out to my man uh, Chad down in Florida and Danny Smith and I believe it was somebody else I'm sorry if I forgot you um, I meant to do this video a while back but you know when my mother passed and everything got crazy but all right you remember I showed you all these switches right did the uh, sky R I mean not the sky RC I'm sorry the um, uh, Thunder innovation uh, switches that I switched over to let me show you real quick remember these ones here right so I'm using those now right all right those that by Thunder Innovation so basically they, you know of course they sold out if you go to dialed RC but uh, again shout out to my man Chad down there in Florida and uh, Danny Smith and the other guy I'm sorry but you can order these on Amazon you got to do the some soldering just got to put a little sweat equity into a baby but you'll be all right let me zoom in get you that part number it's all good it ain't a big deal all right that's the number see that xt 60 e m m is for mount you want the mountable one right there you see that all right so you mount it you got to do some soldering and it'll tell you which side is positive and which side is negative then you put your heat shrink on the end see that bad boy see that okay and then you just get you a regular XT60 connector. You gotta do some side. Room. See, Thunder Innovation just did the leg work for you. But you know, you put them sweat equity into it, baby, you be good. See that positive, negative, solder, put your, your heat shrink on the end, you good. This I believe is the male for the XT60, and that go on the female. Alright, so you can get these um, and just make them yourself. Um, off of Amazon. That's the part number. Do a search on Amazon for the part number. You rolling. Um, also, um, okay, let me give you a little tip about the the Ascended tools. These tools been great. No issues. I have no problems with them. Great. Been working well for me. Excellent. Only thing I've noticed, like, kind of be moving kind of fast sometimes, and I always got to grab it and look and see which one I got, like this 2.5 or a 2, all right, because they look common. So what I did was I went to Harbor Freight, got me some color-coded electrical tape, very cheap, a couple bucks, and I put I just put color tape on the ends to just, just distinguish which ones is which so that I can just grab it and go. And I color coded them like my MIPs. Like this is blue. I know that's a 2.5. That red is a 2.0. So I did it like my MIPs. See my MIPs? Blue 2.5. Red 2.0. And that way when I grab them, I might automatically know. It just speeds up the process. Um, I'm going to holler at Matt see if we can do something to distinguish. That way you can just visually see, bam, and you on it. Um, these tools I've had no issues whatsoever. Y'all can see, look at them tips. And I've been using these boys. They've been great. I've had zero issues with them. Tools have been working very well for me. That's just a quick tip to, uh, you know, help y'all maybe speed up. You know, just speed up your process. See, boom, I need 2.5. Boom, I see the blue. I grab it. I'll go. And I did my other ones, too. Um, same thing with the color coating on those. So, all right, people. So, that's all I really wanted to show y'all was the difference with that um, 301 EC effects. Um, hopefully I can get this thing broken in. I'm not sure when, but we're going to make it do what it do. Okay. All right, people, let me roll. Shout out to my sponsors. I appreciate y'all good peoples and them. Um, and this your man, Rajay111. And I'm out of here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.